Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be a wedding guest. I haven't been to a wedding for like, I don't know, for like ages. It's been so long. The last time that I went to a wedding was when I was still in Greece. So it's been like two years or something, maybe three, I don't know, it's been a while. I really don't get why the people that I know and my friends are not getting married. Like, come on people, get married, do that wedding. The wedding can be so wonderful and amazing thing when it's not yours. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I'm not against weddings, don't get me wrong. It's just so many things that you need to organize and so many things that you need to have under control and I don't know, so many people. Um, honestly, it's a lot of work. Anyway, um, I need to just get started now because I'm gonna be late. I'm not gonna be wearing black today. These are just some um, home clothes. Is that how we call them? I'm not really going out with this shirt. So I'm gonna be wearing it while I'm doing my makeup because I don't wanna mess up my outfit. I'm gonna start off with some primer. This is the Benefit Triple Performing Moisturizer. So I'm just gonna get it on a brush and I'm gonna apply it all over my face. So I don't wanna mess up my outfit, as I said, with foundations and makeup. That's why I'm wearing this shirt today. But honestly, the weather is really messed up today. When I woke up, it was snowing, like snowing, real snow. <laughs> I don't know what else it can be snowing, but it was snowing like really heavily. And I was like, oh my God, really now? But that was not the end. Then it started raining and I'm talking a lot of water was falling down. <laughs> and then after an hour, now I'm going with the Brightening CC Serum by, by Terry. This makes my skin look gorgeous. And then after an hour of like heavily raining, it's all nice and sunny and hot. And it's like August in a, in a Greek island. And I was like, how is that happening? How is that even possible? This is the end of the world. And I'm sure about that. Like how can the weather change so quickly? That is so unreal to me. Why the weather is changing so quickly? Like, it needs some therapy, it's really confused. <laughs> Someone, please recommend the weather a good psychologist, like, it really needs it. All right, now that I'm really nice and primed, I'm gonna go with the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I have this in the shade Ivory Nude, but it's a tiny, tiny little bit too dark for me, so I'm gonna mix it with my Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer in the shade Angel Foot. Just a tiny little bit, maybe a little bit more. Okay, something like this. And I'm gonna use my Real Techniques sponge to apply it on my face. If you're looking for a good long-lasting foundation, I really recommend you to try out the, the Double Wear by Estee Lauder. That thing is amazing. Ow! Ow! Ooh, I don't really need foundation in my eye. And because the weather is so unstable today, I decided to go with just a regular bun. I mean, there are not many things that can go wrong when your hair is up and squished in a bun, right? So just playing safe today. And I'm just brushing my brow hairs upwards. I'm using my Benefit Brow Vu Conditioning Primer. Just gonna brush my hairs upwards. Okay, and I'm taking the Brow Powder Duo by Sigma. This is in the shade Medium. I'm just gonna mix the two colors together. And I'm gonna use that mixture to fill in my brows. I don't really wanna go for a very dramatic brows today. I just wanna have them a little bit more like put together and just a little bit fuller. A little bit more defined, but nothing like really crazy. I'm priming my eyes using some concealer. This is a nice radiant creamy concealer and I'm just gonna blend it all over my eyelids with my sponge that I used to apply the foundation. And as always adding a sheer layer of face powder on top of it. I don't really have a certain look that I wanna do today. That can be a little bit scary because I don't know how I'm gonna end up looking. So I'm gonna start off with this color right here. I'm gonna take it on the MAC 217. And this is the Morphe 24G palette. I'm gonna add it in my crease, like really buffing it, making sure that it's as blended as possible. I'm gonna really take my time with this color. 
I'm adding a couple of layers so that I get a very nice and intense color. So I really want to know if any of you guys are getting married soon. Let me know down in the comments. And also, would you like me to do a bridal makeup tutorial? I've been thinking about doing a video like that, but I really want to know what you guys think of that. I think that with the bridal makeup, it's really what product you're using because you really need something that you're sure that it's gonna last. It's really important that it's long lasting, it's long wearing, it's smudge proof, it's waterproof, it's everything proof. And it's also the look that you're creating because not every look looks good on everyone, you know? We're all different, we all have different like features, different eyes, different everything. So you should really like find what looks good on you, what doesn't look good on you so that you can do a makeup that will really enhance your features, that will um, like boost your face. <laughs> Just adding some more lip balm on my lips. I'm using the Urban Decay Lip Love. I love this thing. This is so good. Now I'm gonna take a darker color. I will go with this one here hold on i'm gonna show you i'm gonna go with this one here it's like a very nice cool toned brown shade i'm taking it on the same mac 217 and i'm gonna add that in the outer corner of my eye right here no hold on let me switch a brush i'm gonna take this weaver 231 and i'll actually mix it with the color next to it so basically these two shades here and adding that in the outer corner of my eye And then I'm gonna clean really quickly that MAC 217 in one of those Veramona stuff. <laughs> I've mentioned that in some of my other videos. These are very, very convenient. So now that I have a clean brush, I'll go ahead and blend out the edges of that brown eyeshadow. Just blending it in the crease, blending it further into the eyelid, but trying to keep it mainly in the outer, in the outer half of the eye. I'm gonna add one more layer just to kind of bring back the intensity and blending out again. My eyelids are so dry today. Blending is a struggle. Moisturize your eyelids, people. <laughs> now on the flat brush, I'm gonna take this color right here. It's very nice, shimmery eyeshadow. And I'm adding it on my eyelid everywhere except where I have that darker brown color. So adding some brightness to the eyes. Where are my sparkles? Oh, here they are. <laughs> this is not a nail polish, I promise. This is the Makeup Forever Starlit um, Liquid. And I believe that this is the shade 01, but I'm not really sure. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm thinking about adding some sparkles to this look. So I'm gonna take some of this on the back of my hand. I'm gonna take some of it on my finger, but really make sure that I have just a small amount of it. And I'm gonna tap that in the inner half of my eyes. Just for some sparkliness. Do you think that Adding those sparkles was a little bit too much. It doesn't really matter because I love it. I don't want to make the things more intense. So I'm going to go ahead and do a brown eyeliner. Just a tiny small baby wing. I'm going to use the Makeup Forever color paint in the shade M60. And the brush that I'm using is the Sigma E06. I actually need a little bit of a darker brown, so I'm gonna take this MAC Roller Roller Wheel Liquid Eyeliner. I'm not gonna use this applicator, so I'm just gonna dip my Sigma E06 in there, and I'm gonna use that to make my wing a little bit darker. The baby wings are the type of eyeliner that takes me the longest to do. I have no idea why. 
Now I'm cleaning my under eye because I had some foundation there and before adding a concealer I want it to be nice and clean. I'm also cleaning up the eyeshadow here making a nice and sharp line. So what I've been doing lately and I'm really trying to find the products that work best together is I'm taking some eyeshadow primer. This one is by Motifs, it's their eye base. I'm taking some on my finger, just a small tiny amount and I'm adding it under my eyes before the concealer. And by doing this extra step, I feel like my concealer is, cre is creasing a lot less because, you know, eyeshadow primers are made to prevent your eyeshadows from creasing, right? And as I said, I'm still trying to find the products that work best together. And I'm just experimenting, trying out new stuff. Today for concealer, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is one of the best concealers that I've tried so far. I ordered the Tarte Shape Tape. I can't wait for it to get here. Everyone is like obsessed with it and I want to see if I'm gonna love it. I really want to try it out, you guys. I'm gonna also add that concealer just where I have some blemishes. This one here is kind of huge, so I want to cover it up. And it's like so painful. It's my fault that it's painful, okay? It was just a regular pimple, you know, sitting on my cheek there, having the time of its life. And um, then I decided to kind of, you know, something that I shouldn't do. Now it's very nice and painful. It's very, now it's, now it's mad at me. It's like giving it back to me for hurting it. Now it's hurting me. <laughs> I'm taking my cover effects. What is this? Translucent powder on a big fluffy brush. This is the Morphe Y1. And what I'm gonna do with it is I'm gonna set just the places that I'm gonna apply my bronzer. I don't think that I'm gonna use blush today, but you know, just this area so that my bronzer can blend easily. And maybe just whatever I have left on the brush around my nose. Okay, that's enough with the powder. Now I'm gonna contour with this color right here. This is by Makeup Forever. Then I'm gonna add the Makeup Geek Sun Kissed Bronzer. I really wanna go a very light hand with this today. For highlighter, Benefit Dandelion. also on my brow one. I'm going back to that cover effects powder that I used, you know, to set the area where I was applying my highlighter and contour. And I'm gonna take some of it on a flat brush like this one. This is the Makeup Addiction Large Shader. It's flat, but it's also a little bit fluffy. So I'm gonna use it to set my under eye concealer. I can be very precise with this brush. I'm just patting that powder on top of the concealer. I'm not gonna be wearing any falsies today because I think that I'll go with the very long ones and that will make the look very, very dramatic and I don't wanna be that dramatic. So I'm just gonna coat them with some mascara. This is the Benefit Bad Girl mascara. This is one of the few mascaras that I own that doesn't smudge on my eyes. Usually the mascaras for me smudge in this area here. You know, I'm getting like some lines of mascara because when I look up, my lashes are touching my skin here and the mascara is smudging there. So this mascara doesn't do that. So that's why I'm gonna be wearing it today. Now I did a little bit more detailed review on this mascara a couple of weeks ago. So if you want to check it out, it's gonna, you can click here or here, I don't know where it's gonna be. It's gonna be somewhere there. <laughs> and I'm coating my lashes. Also, if you have this mascara, but for some reason you don't really like it, go ahead and check that video. It's gonna be very, very, very helpful. Hello, lashes, welcome to the game. <laughs> now for lipstick today, I'm gonna go with the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cool Girl. And lastly, some setting spray to lock everything in place. 
I love the eye look. I love how it came out. I didn't want it to do something very dramatic, but I still wanted to have an eye look going on. I didn't want it to have just an eyeliner or just some posies, you know. I wanted to, to play with some eyeshadows on my eyes today. And even though I added the sparkles, I don't think that it's too much. I can say that I handled that. <laughs> now we all know that you can end up with very dramatic look very quickly. <laughs> it's just about self-control. So I'm proud of myself. I really wanted to do black winged eyeliner today and I really wanted to add some posies. If I did, I think that the eye look would be a lot more intense and I didn't want to do that. It's looking fresh and nice and appropriate for the day, so I like it. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and maybe you learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button next to the subscribe button because that way you're gonna be notified whenever I post a new video. You can also follow me on my Instagram, Facebook or Twitter. All of the links will be down in the description box. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye!